My name is Kenneth Funk and I came here to see Dr. Diamond primarily for a chin and, and jaw augmentation. As I've researched this procedure, I really wanted to make sure that I found a surgeon that was expert in the field. And uh, Dr. Diamond is exclusively a surgeon that focuses on the facial rejuvenation and the custom jaw and chin implant. So I'm, I'm very excited to be here. I'm excited and very confident uh, from everything I've seen and I've read about Dr. Diamond that I definitely am in the right place. So Ken is here today for evaluation of a jaw and chin implant. He's had several chin implant procedures in the past, but none of them have worked well. One time it was misplaced, the other time it was painful and didn't look right, so he had them both removed. Those were done elsewhere. So he comes today and wants to know if we can strengthen his entire jaw, including the jaw angles and the chin. And so Ken has a bit, he's a big guy and he's got a very big face and there's no other way to get definition for a guy like this because you can put all the fillers in the world in and it's not going to create better definition. And he's too thick and full to get a lifting procedure. If you try to lift his skin, it's too thick and full to show definition. And so a customized implant is the best way to do that and so I think he's a good candidate for it. What we're going to do is look at Ken's jaw structure on the computer that was created from the CT scan that we did for him. As this image is on the computer, I'm going to handcraft and customize an implant that extends from one jaw angle all the way across his chin to the other jaw angle. Using this computer system, we're going to make this implant exactly the way we want it to the millimeter in all the different locations and, and the implant is going to be designed to hug every little contour of his jawbone and his jaw structure. So maybe we'll go, you know, five and a half or six millimeters in the front and bring everything down to that low area. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, there's just, there's just quite a lot of contour right there. What's the measurement from the center of the, jaw, of the chin to each jaw angle? Is it pretty even or? But I like that, yeah, I like that. So as Ken is sitting in front of me here, we are creating this implant. I often do it by myself, but Ken wanted to be involved. So he's giving his input as well as to how big he wants the implant at the jaw angle and how much tapering he wants as it comes in. And so with his input, I am creating this implant to give him the best possible result. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I've been looking forward to this and it's finally here. So I'm ready to get going. So today's Ken's surgery, we've got the implant that's already been prepared by the company. They've sent it to us, so we're ready to go. So now his new jaw angle is gonna come down and then straight like this. It's not gonna come down and then dip up. So we've got that. It wraps all the way around the front. And it does the same on the other side. I'm gonna make an incision under his chin, a small incision to start the dissection off the chin. And then I'm gonna make incisions inside the mouth to get the dissection off of the jaw angle. We're going to take the implant and place it through a combination of in the mouth and under the chin to get the implant to sit perfectly along his jaw angle right to his chin. There are some uh, decisions I have to make as far as how propped up do I want the chin to be? And he's got an awkward anatomy with a real heavy chin, so I do want it to be pushed up a little bit. So I have to use some screws, which I don't normally do in the center, but it's all going to plan. It looks exactly the way that I want it to. I'm also going to screw the implant in to the jaw angle, one screw on each side, uh, to make sure this implant doesn't move. So now I've got the implant exactly where I want it. This implant will give Ken his maximum facial balance, his maximum facial definition and structure and will help to obliterate the little jowl area that he was complaining of. Now he's going to have a nice strong structured area and that jowl will be completely gone as we can see here. So I'm very pleased with how this has gone. This is a very difficult surgery. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of experience. Uh, a lot of little uh, important decisions have to be made but this has gone exactly how we planned and I, and I couldn't be happier with it. So today's Ken's one month follow-up. Ken is extremely happy with his results and he's had no problems. As I'm looking at him, the implant is in perfect position and it's given me the balance that I want for him. He's still a little swollen and this, there's a, the dissection for the surgery is quite, quite heavy uh, and it does create a lot of swelling. He's still quite puffy in areas, 
It can take six months for that to all go away, but as Ken said, it's going down day by day. So he's still in the healing process, but I'm very pleased with how it looks. He's got a nice, nice distance now from his jaw to his chin. The jowl area is completely gone. He's still a little full in the angles, and that's gonna get a lot sharper, a lot sharper uh, over the next few months. He's very happy, and, and I'm, that makes me happy.